Alright, I realize I haven't made a video like this in a while, but, uh, West Virginia is in serious doo-doo. So, if you didn't see my last West Virginia rant video, you, uh, let me quickly update you, um, teachers were going on strike, uh, very soon at that point. Well, it's been two weeks since, a little over two weeks since that last video, and things are way worse. The teachers have been on strike for, like, almost 10 days, something like that, at this point. Um, that is a real problem, because that means we're going to be going 10 days into June. So, ah, man, um, so we have had some serious problems here the last couple of years. Um, I've been a Republican a while, uh, I affiliate more with them, well, the Republicans, anyways, uh, they're not doing too good in the Senate. Uh, the bill, they finally got the 5% pay raise and a fix for PEIA, which is two of the four things they were fighting for, which I'm not going to go into that. But they got those things. Well, things in the Senate aren't going too well. Okay, so that's Mitch Carmichael. He is the president of the Senate. Well, he's had several press conferences, and he said the teachers are not getting a 5% pay raise or any sort of pay raise at this point. Well, you see him, the Speaker of the House, and Governor Jim Justice, they all reached an agreement with the teachers' unions to give them the four things they wanted, a solution to PEIA. 5% pay raise, keeping their seniority, and allowing to be able to pay their union dues straight out of their paycheck. Which is all fine and dandy. Well, Mitch basically doesn't care because he's getting paid by corporations to not tax them, and so they can't, quote-unquote, find a source. Well, I've been to Charleston several days this week, and every time I'm down there, things just seem to get worse. Well, on... Was it Thursday? Thursday when I was down there, uh, right before he they went to their Senate meeting, he had a press conference and said, we're not giving you a pay raise, you're going to deal with it, and teachers are really mad now. See, there was a thing, we were going to go back to school on Thursday, well, on Wednesday, they were like, okay, well they went down there, and nothing happened. So, on Thursday... The House voted yes for the bill that the governor proposed when they didn't have to, because whatever rules they have it with the state constitution or whatever it's called, they didn't have to uh, until you don't vote until the third reading. Well, every time it's come to the reading of uh, the bill the governor has proposed, the Senate has just tabled it and moved on to the next bill. Then there are people like Senator Ocheta, uh Richard Ojeda, um, he's running for Congress. Uh, if you can, and you're in the state of West Virginia, vote for him. Uh, he's a really nice guy. I've met him a couple of times, shook his hand, got a couple pictures with him. It was really, it was really, um, this whole week has been, honestly, a more knowledgeable ex experience at school. Anyways, you have a few people like him there who have been supporting the teachers the whole time, and now uh, they're getting around to more people. Well, anyways, yesterday... Because at this point, it's 2 in the morning at the time of this video. It's Saturday, when this comes out. Well, yesterday, Friday, uh, 20 people out of the, like 34 voted to not even discuss the bill. So the teachers will continue to strike until it's passed. So listen, Mitch... Swallow your pride and just do it. You're only biting yourself in the butt the longer you stall. And the more you wait on this and the less you do what these people want, the more angry parents, angry teachers, and angry senators and people in the house you're going to have at you because you could have fixed this problem a long time ago. This problem could have been, re been resolved at the beginning of the legislative session, but you wouldn't do it. You've been meeting with unions. You've heard what the unions want for uh, 
at least over a month. Almost two months at this point. Even probably before then, you guys have promised for years to do things for the teachers, and you haven't do it. Well, the governor promised that we do these things if we went to school, which is fine. We didn't go to school on Wednesday. We were under the impression that things would be done Wednesday, which is fine. Well, nothing happened Thursday. So what we do, we headed back to Charleston. And the governor was like, the governor got cornered uh, by a whole bunch of teachers on his way back from back to work, which is one of the first times he's ever done that. It's fine. They have the right to question him. Uh, he was on his way to a meeting with Mitch Carmichael anyways, which, by the way, please call him. I'm going to be calling him uh, sometime tomorrow so that uh, maybe I can tell him that I'm a student. I would like to be back in school. Um, well, I, you know how that is. I would like to, you know, be getting my education and not wasting all this time. So, please, if you're in the state of West Virginia, please call Mitch Carmichael. On Tuesday, when this deal was met, there was national news there, because for Monday, or no, Thursday and Friday, and Monday, all 55 counties were out. And so, you know, that night on national television, they reached a deal, they announced the deal, and yet we didn't go back. And everyone found it suspicious that as soon as national news got there, Jim Justice proposed this deal after earlier in the day, tweeting, like Donald Trump, there's no way that we're doing anything to fix VI or something like that. I'm not going around to look for the tweet. I'm too lazy. So it was interesting. And now CBS was there Thursday, and MSNBC was back on Thursday when I was down there. Um, I mean, so it, West Virginia right now is a real part of my French here shit show. It's ridiculous uh, that they're hurting the teachers. Not only are you hurting teachers, Mitch, you're hurting the students, the people you, you say you care about. You say you care about your teachers and state employees and your students. Why haven't you done something if you care so much? That's my two cents on this whole issue. West Virginia is legit crashing and burning. Kids have been out of school for almost two weeks. It'll be two weeks this Thursday. Um, so if you pray, uh, please keep the state of West Virginia in your prayers. Uh, call Mitch Carmichael, call uh, Mike Azinger, um, I forget the rest of them who are against it, but those are the two names I know for sure. Uh, Senator uh, Blair, call him as well. Uh, call your Democratic senators and see if, if they have any information to you. Or uh, Yeah, Democratic senators, see if they have any information for you. See what they know. Go to the Capitol if you live in the state. The more people we have, the better. Please, and thank you to Senator Jetta and Senator Unger for always being there this entire time for all the teachers and public employees. Um, if you don't know, Senator Unger um, basically told the whole state, come to the Capitol, put pressure on these people, which leads me to my next little tangent here, and then I'm done, I promise. So on Friday, today is Saturday at like, Two in the morning, two thirty. It's almost three, because I can't sleep. I've tried. Anyways, uh, earlier uh, on Friday, yesterday, uh, they held a press conference with all fifty-five superintendents, and Mitch Carmichael basically said, "We don't care." I mean, that was basically the whole thing. They said nothing of importance. Basically, all the things we said we don't want done is basically going to get done. There's also talks that they're reworking the bill, and they have nothing on their agendas. Not a thing. They don't have anything about this 5% raise on their agenda. They fixed the PEIA thing, froze it, of course they would, but they don't have anything on their agenda. And anyways, there was one senator there, I forget his name, my book is not easily in front of me. I have a big book of senators and delegates. <clears throat> uh, if you want to take a look at that and you know me so you can know who to call, uh, let me know. Anyways, so, I forget which senator it was. He was like, I don't think it's fair you're putting all this pressure on us to make a decision we wouldn't normally make. Uh, that's the whole point of peacefully protesting. Uh, that's in the Constitution. We want to change your mind. We want you to do something you wouldn't normally do. I mean, how idiotic do you actually have to be to think that that's the okay and right thing to say? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sitting through all this. 
I will put Mitch Carmichael's number in the description. Please give him a call. And remember, guys, uh, tomorrow they're doing having another session. Anyways, guys, remember 55 strong, and I'll see you in the next video.